welcome back to the research world in this video tutorial we are going to discuss how to write an effective research methodology so first begin what is a research methodology it is a systematic strategy to find solution to the research problem the main objective of the methodology is to determine the appropriateness and provide justification of the methods being applied with a view to find the solution to the problem. There are four steps in the writing research methodology. So let's discuss one by one. First step is establish your overall methodological approach. Second step is define how you collected or generated the data. Your third step is describe your methods of the analysis. And the fourth step is justify uncommon methods and cite any resources that contributed to your choice of the methodology. So let's discuss one by one. Step first, establish your overall methodological approach. That is the talking about the research design being used by the researcher. Your all approach will be either qualitative or quantitative. Occasionally, you may also use a mix of both approaches, which is known as the mixed methodology. So that is your research design. Now, in the quantitative research, there can be descriptive studies, there can be the correlational, there can be experimental, and much more. Similarly, in case of the qualitative research studies, your research design can be ethnographic, it can be historical, or it can be grounded theory, and much more. Or you can use both of these quantitative and the qualitative research designs that will be your mixed approach. Now, Justify your research choice that why did you choose a particular research design? For example, you are going to find out if drinking while being pregnant is associated with an increased risk of depression for the teenage child. So the justification is correlational research design has been used as it seeks to find out if two or more variables are related and if so, in that way, in what way? So, the, in this particular research, the researcher is going to use the correlational research and he has provided the justification that because he is going to study the, the, uh, the relation between two variables and for that particular purpose, he has selected the correlational research design. This is a step first. Se second step that is define how you collected or generated the data so this portion of your methodology section tells your readers when and where you conducted your research and what basic parameters were put into place to ensure the relative objectivity of your results so again in case of the quantitative research you can collect the data through survey through questionnaires, etc. In case of the qualitative research, you can collect the data through interviews, through case studies, and in the mixed approach, you can use both of these. Now, how you would justify the data collection method in your research methodology? For example, suppose a psychologist wants to study the impact of the lifestyle and eating habits on the reported happiness of the subjects. The interview method is most suitable to collect the data in such cases. Now you need to justify the selection of the interview method. And the justification is it helps in obtaining in-depth information. Second, it is flexible and adaptable to the individual situations and can often be used when no other method is possible or adequate. And last but not the least, it can be used even the, with the children and with the uneducated people. So, your choice of selecting the interview method for the data collection has been 
justified. Next, step number three, describe your methods of the analysis. So again, if you are using the quantitative research or uh, you will be using the qualitative, you need to describe your methods of the analysis. So here in the quantitative research studies, you need to focus on some important things. First of all, you need to ready and prepare the data for the analysis purposes. If there is some sort of missing data, you need to fill the gap and remove the outliers through different statistical tests. Second, what type of the statistical tests will you use? For example, you are going to use the correlation, you are going to use the regression, or you are going to use the ANOVA, and you need to justify why, the, why you are using such test. And lastly, uh, what software will you use? That is, for example, the SPSS is mostly for the primary data, uh, while the Strata or the EView is for mostly for the secondary or the less complex data. And similarly, the R Studio. In case of the qualitative data, the analysis depends on usually on the themes as there is no numeric data, there is no numbers, so the data usually is in the form of themes, in the form of languages, characters, or images, etc. And mostly six important type of the data analysis are used in the qualitative data analysis. That is the qualitative content analysis, the narrative analysis, the discourse analysis, thematic analysis, and the grounded theory. And last, the interpretive phenomenonical analysis. So these were all about the justification and providing the information about your data analysis. And the last but not the least and the important step in the research methodology is justify uncommon methods if you are using some new or noble sort of the research uh, methods uh, that are contrary to the traditional so you need to justify the use of such methods and if the, uh, you have uh, taken the, some help from the other sources so you need to contribute and cite those resources in the choice of your research methodology so hopefully this video will help you in writing an effective research methodology of your research. Thank you, stay updated and tuned for the more videos to come.